Hi, this is Four Golf Custom, and today we're reviewing the Cobra King F9 driver, their brand new driver for the marketplace. Um, if you're in the market for a driver this year, 2019, this is a product you really need to consider. I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. I'm gonna to talk to Dave about the type of golfers that he's been fitting best with this. And also we've got some really good insights into the settings and how they've been working for us. Um, so let's jump straight into player profile. Let's get to it. Who's this driver for? Give us the breakdown. I think from a designs perspective, they must have sat down and maybe looked as trying to get as big a scope of golfers into this product as possible. So you have a whole load of variants, a whole load of options, a really good stability story. And we've new loft settings as well. So you've got three lofts, nine, ten and a half, twelve. Okay. In left hand and right hand. So everything they do in left right hand for drivers, they do in left hand. Then have a twelve and a half degree ladies. They're even considered a twelve and a half degree lighter junior driver. That's so everybody covered. They've pretty much covered everybody off. Because on the loft sleeve, you've got plus or minus one and a half degrees. So do you, do you prefer that now? Because in the window last season, there used to be more numbers, the actual loft itself. Do you prefer the plus and minus and more, I suppose? I think it makes it a little bit more understandable, a little bit more logical. Yes, the loft fitting it in was good, but you almost had too many lofts from one head. I love the fact that there's now three heads as opposed to two heads, because you've got much more options on the hose lane open and closing the face to get the face angle right as well as the loft angle. And then the weights, just two this year. Just two, yeah, 114, 112. Can go in its front position or its back position. I, I guess the major factor is this speed back and the way that it's elongated and pulled the MOI real low and wheel to the back. But surprisingly, even with the weight at the back position or its launch position, it still was only really about four, 500 RPM in the difference, so. I, do you know what, I think they've changed, they, they have a new carbon fiber crown, which uh, from a golfing perspective, this is really important, not because it's there, but because of what the weight saving that it, it gives you. And it allows designers to take weight that was normally in the crown and move it to a different place. In doing so then, I think they've created this lovely neutral axis. And because of the, the wide elongated, elongated back, it's pulling the CG low so, and yeah. deep, which is keeping that spin rate down. And then you're, you're using the loft sentence and the sleeve sentence to value the yeah. launch angle specifically. It's a really good stabilizing block. Yeah, and that's usually the holy grail for us folks when we're dealing with drivers and with, with golfers is to find that lovely high launching, low spinning driver because that usually gives us the maximum amount of distance. Okay, yeah. You can talk about the face, which we will in a minute, but the reality is it's high launching, low spin works. But the trade-off has usually been the unforgivingness of the, of the, the driver. The dispersion so element of a off it with hits, a low, yeah. yeah, if you miss it off center with a low spin, you're gonna miss. The great thing about this driver is it doesn't really miss that much. No. And you've it's spoken a lot stable. to me. Yeah, you've spoken a lot to me about, Derek, it's really consistent. Yeah. Like it's uber consistent. And by the way, all this information is relating to being fitted for drivers here at Four Golf. So uh, this is more user information. You might wanna to subscribe to the channel um, and give the bell a ring to get notified when they come out because this is information you can use in order to make a better choice about the driver. Um, talk to me about the face, so milled face. Yeah. Um, I know that this is a, a more of a manufacturing uh, situation which from a fitting perspective we love because it means that if we fit for a driver and we get numbers on TrackMan and then we build a driver next door and workshop, the consistency of what takes place at the fitting can be matched from a build perspective which means you get the driver that you hit. Yeah. What have you noticed though with the milled face on the off-center strikes? Well, I mean, it's extremely stable for a, a draw and a fade. It tends to level those up. But I think what a lot of people see is the, the big round circle in the middle. As much as we know it's there for consistency, people just see it as a really big sweet spot. So I think the sweet spot on this thing is huge, so it has to be forgiven. So they're already mentally switched on to the fact that this thing has a big sweet spot. I think visually it's quite good, yeah. yeah. And it does kind of draw you into the whole thing. Absolutely, So yeah. if you're saying this is a driver that can be for the masses, Certainly, potentially, yeah. We're saying make sure you get fitted for it because of there's a lot of moving parts. Yeah. Who is this not for? So who's watching the video and saying, I might think that driver, who do you think it might not suit? I, I guess traditionally over the years, if you've been that big slicer of a golf ball or that big hooker of a golf ball, you've always been better traditionally with weight in the toe and the heel part of the driver, which this driver doesn't have. For many years, Cobra have always had a draw weight, which has always made it a lovely product. But this year, the, stable, the stability story is overtaken, so you now just have a front and a back. So technically, the, as much as you, you can open and close the face, yeah. but if you're a big sling hooker or a big slicer of a golf ball, maybe there's better options in that case. But that's literally about the only people that don't really fit into this product. 
it's fair to say that Cobra have jammed an awful lot of different technology into this new F9. And while the stability story from this product is one that you could probably plug and play straight off the shelf, you know, I'm gonna maybe ask you to get this thing fitted. And to be fair, with the three different lofts on the heads, the way that the hosel works, and certainly the weight settings, and we haven't even talked about the different shafts, this is a product you're gonna to wanna to have to get fitted for. So take your time, go and test the driver, but do please get fitted for it so that you can maximize the way that it launches with this new low spin stability story. Also, in the grip end of this club, there's Arcos, this is their Cobra Connect system. What it does is it links the driver to your round of golf. You can see where you miss on the round, you can see where the, how far the drives are going, you can map out your round with the driver. The only game changer is you have to have your mobile phone in your pocket when you're playing, and this may or may not suit you depending on who you are. In terms of the driver itself, this thing comes in at around that sort of 400 euro mark, and for all the movable weights and technology and the way that the driver performs in terms of stability and strikeability, it's a a lot of bang for your buck so definitely one to consider hope that you're enjoying the videos why don't you stick in the comments below if you've got some uh, feedback on the settings or anything that you'd like to ask about how to set it up based on different ball flight we'll answer that for you if you've learned something new here today about how we fit with the driver why don't you give the video a like and also please subscribe to the channel it's all about fitting it's all about how you can apply these drivers to you in your game so please subscribe hit the bell and we'll notify on the next video until then thanks for watching they have a new carbon, 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 carb